All right, YouTube viewers, check this out. So cycling is all about preparation, right? And so not only in the riding itself, but when you're planning a ride, you have to bring the right stuff. Of course, everybody knows about food and water, but what do we put in our bags, right? So you may wonder, you know, you may see some stuff here that you may not expect to see in a cycling bag. Everybody has different things that we carry. And, you know, I've got a couple of plastic bags here, this Ziploc bag. You know, it's a perfect place to store your phone if you should find yourself stuck in a rainstorm or something like that, and your jersey does not provide adequate protection. I mean, you could put two or three smartphones in there probably if you had to. So that's one of the little bit of rescue, you know, stuff that we carry. Of course, our GPS units tend to be waterproof. I mean, here's mine. It's a Garmin 530E. No big deal. It goes on the handlebars. But what I'm getting at is that there are certain tricks that you may have never seen before. Of course, it's good to carry a tire lever or maybe even two, depending on what kind of tires and wheels you have. Spare tube. Now, my spare tube is in a set of two gloves. So two large gloves there. And there's probably some talcum powder inside of that inner glove. That way you can... Do roadside repairs if you have to do something greasy, like take a link out of your chain or something like that because you broke your chain. Uh, you know, that way you put the gloves on, take them off inside out, put them back in the jersey pocket, and no greasy hands, no greasy bar tape, right? Plus, it protects your tube a little bit there. And if you put talcum powder in there, it keeps that tube supple for years and years. So, of course, a lighter. You should probably carry a 20 or a 50 or even a $100 bill considering the, how expensive your bike may be, but I've got six bucks, <laughs> six bucks in my bag. Um, I've got two separate patch kits. I've got batteries for some of the lights that I use, actually. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the front light that I have uses that kind of battery, so I've got a backup battery there, actually two of them. I think it only takes one. So yeah, there's that. You've got my slime scabs patch kit. These are no glue patches. Uh, I've also got a valve tool in there, which I actually have to put aside because that's a redundancy, you see. So all, another thing is, you know, always check what's in your pack, right? So I've got a couple of slime patches here. These are, again, these are no glue patches, but there should be a piece of sandpaper too. Oh, we've got this metal thing to scuff up the tube. I mean, you can carry alcohol wipes, too. That makes the patch stick to the tube much better. Make sure you don't damage the patches by having the miniature cheese grater right next to the patch surface. Anyway, yeah, so slime patches, I've, I have used them. They seem to work, at least in an emergency. Not recommended to leave on your tube afterwards, though. And I've got a chain tool. Uh, this is a, a little pin that presses your chain pins out. Uh, don't use it if you don't know how to use it. Maybe we'll make a different video about how to break chains and put them back together. But basically, you don't push the pin all the way out. And when you put it back in, you make sure that it's been loosened by reversing it and pressing it on the middle fence and, and so on. But anyway, I won't really talk about that. But uh, and then I've got this one. This is my small parts bag. This has got a Presta valve core, a valve cap, a wheel nut, a valve tool and a long stem valve. This way, if somebody only has, if somebody has a long stem wheel to a certain point, and somebody only has a short, a short uh, stem tube, they can attach the valve extender by taking the Presta core out and screwing that on, and so on. So that's a little bit. And then, of course, I have a TPU patch kit because I'm currently running TPU tubes. Uh, they, uh, I think, they require a different kind of patching process than a butyl tube. So this is a regular butyl tube. I'm currently running thermoplastic urethane tubes. So yeah, so that's, and of course I have this big, this big rag right here, which is about to go through the wash because it's been in my saddlebag forever. So I'll run that through the wash. It's got some rust from getting extremely wet at times, you know, and getting rust from one of the tools or something on there. So, but what I really wanted to show in this video is this, because uh, bike mechanicry often involves some improvisation. So this is a great little trick that I learned from my cycling mentor, Ron Wexler. 
And of course, this trick is uh, wrap some tape around your tire lever, right? It takes up almost no space. It's not very heavy. And this tape would have been wrapped on here in something like 1999, maybe 98, something like that, when I got this park tire lever. And yeah, basically this is a mobile roll of tape. So if you unpeel this, this is, you know, 25 plus year old duct tape. And this would still work. This little bit of duct tape would work. And so if you had to like tape a cable onto your bike or something like that because you broke a cable so it's not hanging down, something like that, you can do that stuff on the side of the road there. Put some tape. It seems so basic. Put some tape around your tire lever. Now I'm going to replace this with some brand new electrical tape, probably orange electrical tape because I have some. But look at that. That is a roll of perfectly viable duct tape. And that will be enough to perform various different types of repairs if necessary. It's very state Like this isn't gaffer's tape either. This is like the cheap duct tape. So yeah, create a little roll of, of tape on your tire lever. That's another added feature. Oh, and of course I do carry an Allen key as well. This is because I don't care about weight. I'm more of an aerodynamics person. I don't care about weight. This is a old school cheesified popular mechanics brand Allen key metric, of course. So yeah, that's what's in my, uh, my road saddle bag. Of course, I carry a pump that's attached to the frame. Oops. I carry a pump that's attached to the frame, so I don't need to show that, but yeah, that's what's in the bike. I also have a tail light and a headlight. Uh, but yeah, may maybe try that one out. That is a great little cycling hack for you, perhaps. And of course, if you're new to the channel, make sure you press the subscribe button. Otherwise, you may not see the world's most comprehensive daily space weather content. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, yeah, let us know what's in your saddlebag in the comments below. And uh, of course, more cycling videos to come sometime soon.